Today in the boot guy, we are looking at a classic red wing style and number, the 8106, part of the heritage line from Red Wing Boots. Boot Guy Reviews, I'm doing a review of an Oxford, of course, because I mean, when you think about this thing, this is like a classic in the whole realm. Boots are classic, they are, but if you're a tile setter or a finished carpenter, you've probably looked at these before and thought, man, that's like the perfect shoe for me. Because when you think about it, tile setters, they're on their knees all day long. They're spacing things out, they're squaring things up, they're lining things out, they're dropping lines on things, and they don't need a boot to cut into their Achilles. So a really tough, strong piece of leather, a really good soft sole that, that doesn't carry around a lot of material going in and out, and if you're stepping in it, well, this is like the perfect shoe. And when I say a finished carpenter, okay, so think about finished carpenter, what are they doing? They're putting trim down. They're doing things that a normal carpenter doesn't do. It's a little bit higher end of carpentry. A finished carpenter or even a cabinet maker would totally get a lot of use and a lot of wear out of a shoe like this. Cabinet maker inside a shop, cutting wood all day planing stuff down, sanding stuff down, getting pieces to fit together. They also don't really need a boot, but they do need heavy duty leather and they do need a comfortable sole. The leather is called black chrome leather and you guys are out there probably thinking the same thing I am. Yeah, it's like Chrome XL. It looks just like it. It feels just like it, high polished high-end leather, really good selection of the hides in order to get this high shine and just this overall beautiful appearance that happens with the black chrome leather from Red Wing. Outsole, yeah, this sole has been argued over so much over the last five years. It's a great sole, it's a horrible sole, it wears down too quick, it lasts forever. Guys are constantly arguing over the tractor tread sole from Red Wing. Personally, I like it, I like Vibram more, maybe it's just me, but since it's Red Wing, you get their sole. And tractor tread, really grippy, really sticky. My opinion, it does last much longer than some of the softer Christie soles, and it does look a lot better once it gets a little age and a little patina into it, if looks are what you're going for with a shoe like this. All right, so you guys who are worried about being comfortable, about wearing something that's really soft and spongy and easy to break in, guess what? This ain't for you. Don't even look at this shoe. Go somewhere else, look at something else because Hard leather footboard inside, leather insole, whatever you want to call it, it's hard, it's leather. Sure, the sole is soft and you're sitting on a Goodyear welt, and Goodyear, Goodyear welt. welt, of course, means that the shoe is resolable. But inside, beautiful leather line, beautiful leather lining all the way up into the vamp and right into the arch at those sections, it transfers over into a really nice, sturdy piece of cotton on the backing of this leather, like right in this section here. This is all cotton inside. The outside's the chrome black leather, but you got that cotton in there, which really does help with flexing and moving and just making this thing more comfortable. Now, if you're looking to put an insole inside there, like a soft gel cushion insole, I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say when you got a shoe like this, just break it in. Just go through the motions, wear this thing, beat it up, beat your foot up a little bit, Break this thing in because once you collapse this leather insole that's inside here, this leather footboard, this thing's gonna take on a shape of your heel, of your arch, of 
every part of your foot, every little bone, every little nook and cranny, this thing is going to shape and transform to your foot. Now, it doesn't happen overnight. Trust me, it's not like something that you're going to do in a week. It's going to take a while, but while you're doing it, you'll be switching your socks. You'll be sweating in this thing. The whole shoe is going to start to become a part of you. And before you know it, trust me on this, before you know it, this thing will be broken in and this thing will become your favorite pair of shoes. Hardware is nickel. Of course, it's Red Wing Heritage. You'll find it in all their heritage boots. And why? Because nickel has proven to stand the test of time. It's great stuff. It looks great. It patinas nice. And even as it gets dirty and you clean it, it still takes on a certain characteristic that you're not going to find in like stainless or other pressed metals. Nickel is the way to go when it comes to hardware. All right, so if you're wondering about the last that they use on this, this is the number 23 last. In my opinion, number 23 is a little bit more narrower than what we normally see when we think of work boots. But when it comes to heritage boots, when it comes to classic design dress slash casual boots, the 23 last is a very nice general fitting type last. Now, if you got a foot that's as wide as a flipper, 23 probably is not gonna work for you because it is a narrower last. This is more for a thinner, higher arched foot, but try them on if you get the chance. If this is something you're thinking about, try them on. And I'm sure that if you find one that actually fits really nice in the heel and really nice in the toes, you're gonna go with it. Laces, as if it even matters, are Tazlon. Tazlon is a very basic material. You guys out there who would probably pick up this shoe would probably pull those out within the first day or two and put in some beautiful black leather or beautiful hand waxed brown leather laces because if you're buying this for the aesthetic and even if you're buying this as a work shoe, you're still gonna wanna make them look good. I mean, cause there's no reason why anybody's gonna buy this and not care about the way it looks. So. I would say dump the Tazlon and get some leather in there, just leather on leather, especially brown leather mixed with, mixed with that welt, that beautiful double stitched heritage welt that just looks beautifully. Brown leather would just accent the whole thing so much and just make this whole shoe look good. All right guys, size and fit. Now, most of us know heritage stuff, yet you go down a half size from your regular size. I'm no different. I've done it many a times when it came to heritage boots from Red Wing. But for this shoe, what I was really surprised with is that my size, normally a 12, felt way too snug, felt way too short. Now, could it be that I'm getting older, my foot's flattening out, I spent a lot of time on my feet, I spent a lot of time climbing ladders, I spent a lot of time just beating the crap out of them. Are my feet flattening out? Probably, I'm probably hitting that age where my arches are gonna start to collapse. So, size 13 instead of a 12, I went up one full size. I went up, not down, I went up just so it would feel really comfortable and it feels great. The arch of it hits me in the right spot. The heel is nice and tight. When the thing is laced to my foot, it feels perfect. I can tell after about a month of wearing this, this thing's gonna fit my foot like a house slipper. I hate using that expression, but yeah, it's gonna feel like a house slipper. And I know right now, you're about to argue with me. You're about to say, hey, what about that hard leather insole? How can you even say it's gonna be comfortable? Well, that's just it. Really well-made shoes like Red Wing Heritage are all about time. Takes time to make them, takes time to, takes time to procure the materials that are used in order to put this beautiful thing together. So guess what? It takes time to break it in and get it to fit right. So if you can give yourself a little bit of time in a shoe like this or in the boot model of this shoe, you'll be extremely happy once it breaks in. All right, here's something that I normally don't do in a review. How would you take care of this thing? I'm sure that's gonna be a lot of questions. So simply what I would do is I would probably use Red Wing's black boot cream. I would not use a shoe polish on this. 
Because of the chrome leather, because of the oil content that's in the leather, I would avoid shoe polish on this. And also, black shoe polish going around, hitting, messing up all the stitches and everything else, why even take the chance? Boot cream, boot oil, as you start to ding it up, scratch it up, scar it up, adding some oil to it is just gonna make this thing look beautiful. The more age you can put into a shoe like this, especially with this black chrome leather, the better they look. Now, daily maintenance, okay, maybe once a week. Brush it off with a horsehair black brush. Get the welts, get the stitches, get underneath the tongue, get everything out of there. Then, if you've got an oily rag that you use on your other boots, don't apply any extra oil, just wipe it down with that and then go back over with the brush. Taking care of this thing is going to make it last much longer. And like I said earlier, because of the Goodyear welt, you're gonna be able to put multiple soles. This thing is made so well that I would imagine for the average guy, he could probably get two or three good resolings out of the upper alone if you don't tear through the leather from dragging a toe around or if something else doesn't happen that's catastrophic that they can't put a new sole on there. I'd imagine this shoe would last a really, really long time. So that's the classic Oxford from Red Wing Heritage number 8106 in black chrome leather. Now I'm sure you guys know that this thing comes in three other colors and those other colors are three shades of brown. So if you guys are wearing a pair of those, it's the same construction, it's the same break and just comment below, let guys know what you think about it. Are you happy that you picked up an Oxford? Why did you pick up an Oxford? And what type of work are you doing in your Oxford that you went with this instead of a boot? We'd really like to know, I'd really like to know. Hey, if you're interested in seeing some super high resolution detail photos of all the little nooks and crannies of this, especially the welting, especially the stitching and the inside leather footboard, swing by my website, thebootguy.com. I will have a blog posting with this shoe and all those tight detailed photos in there. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. You know it really helps out. And guys, check me out on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram now, follow me sometime tonight or this week. Every day that I get something new or that I'm out in the field, I'm taking photos of what I'm doing and I'm putting it out there. I'm trying to engage you guys in conversation. Reason being, I don't really want to fuddle around with email much anymore. I feel that Instagram is a great platform to get those really easy questions out. Plus, their notification is instantaneous. I have noticed that going back and forth with guys who are trying to pick up a pair of shoes using Instagram is a great service. So hit me up on Instagram if you got any questions about boots, shoes, and workwear, or about a photo that I posted that week. If you're about to pick up a pair of these or anything from Red Wing Heritage and you're just on the fence, size, fit, type of leather, what you plan on doing in it, and if you feel like if you're asking the guys at the Red Wing shop, they're kind of treating you like a bozo or a moron, feel free to shoot me over an email or hit me up on Instagram. Let's talk about it. Last thing I want to do is make anybody steer away from buying a quality pair of boots or shoes. Because the more time we spend putting our money into a beautiful American-made product out of American-made materials, the better things are going to be in the long run for everybody. So if you got any questions, feel free to contact me. All right, until the next time, I'm the Boot Guy. Thanks a lot for watching.